Let's look into the basic PPPoE configuration now. Here we have some basic PPPoE function. So let's look into the CLI. So to configure data rules and set the condition for initiating a PPPoE session, we use the command called dollar rules. Then there is another command called dollar user followed by the username. So once you go into the dollar rules, assuming that this is one, so we have a Huawei dash dollar one. Inside the dollar one, you are going to specify who's the username. And this username must be the same as a peer server, which is your PPPoE server. Then we have to configure a dollar group followed by the group number. Then we uh, put in the dollar bundle, same number that we specified because all this is under the dollar one. And once we have configured this profile, we have to enter this profile in the interface. And the interface uh, in this example is uh, Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0. The command for you to bind the physical uh, interface to a dollar is called PPPoE client dial bundle number. So the number here, which is this number, it can be uh, the number one, two, three, it have to be matched. So let's look into the example for configuring a PPoE client. This is the first part here. Experiment requirement. First is to configure R1 as PPPoE client and R2 as PPPoE server. Second is to configure a dollar interface on the client on R1. Third, we have to configure authentication on the interface on R1. The dollar interface R1 can obtain IP uh, automatically from PPoE. So which means that we are going to use dynamic IP. And uh, finally, we need to add the server through the dollar interface. So the command for you to do that, the first one here is the dollar rules. Once you enter dollar rules, you are going to create a dollar rules number. So the number that we are using is one IP permit, which means that any source that is using a protocol IP is allowed to down. We quit and then we go into the interface dollar one. In the interface dollar one, this is where we are going to add all the information in the dollar interface number one. So we create a dollar user and the price. We put under the dollar group one, dollar bundle one, followed by the user called Huawei. Okay, and then the parser is called Huawei one, two, three. And we also want it to be PPP negotiate. So please remember that the interface that we are using is called dollar one. And all this information that's specified over here is under the dollar one profile. Next, we look into the step number two here, the second part. So on the second part, we are going to bind the interface. And for you to do that, we choose the interface 001. And if you still remember, we have a bundle and the bundle number is bundle number one and followed by the command quit. All right, so this is the configuration on the client. And finally, we also need to configure the default route to say that anything that I want to go outside from my network, it will be going through the dollar number one. So this is the uh, configuration on the PPPoE client. Next, we are going to look into PPPoE server. So let's look into the server part here. So the requirement is to create an address pool on the PPPoE server for address a location to the client and PPPoE server authenticate the client and assign valid IP address to the client. So there are three steps here. First step is to create the pool. And for you to do that, you use a command called IP pool, pool number one. Pool number one is the pool name. Inside the pool, we have this uh, network, which is 192.168.1.0 with a subnet mask of slash 24 and a gateway of 192.168.1254. This is just to create the pool, just like when we configure the HCP. Then we use this command called interface virtual template one. All right, this is on the PPPoE server. We use virtual template. Here, we are going to use a chat and the IP address on this interface is 192.168.1.254, which means that I am your gateway. And we specify that the remote address is using pool number one. So the pool number one that I mentioned earlier on is using this address pool. So this is the first part. On the second part of our configuration on PPPoE is to specify 
which interface that I'm going to run the PPPoE. Here I'm using interface gate 000 and I'm going to bind that with the virtual template number one, which in this case, I'm actually in the virtual template one here. And uh, finally, we are going to create the uh, user access. If you still remember, we use a username called Huawei one with a password Huawei one, two, three, and we are using the service type is PPP. Okay, so these are the uh, two set of configuration. One set of PPPoE client configuration and the second set is on PPPoE server configuration. So I hope that you have some clear uh, idea on what is a PPPoE and how it is configured. Now, if let's say your configuration is working, you can use the command called display interface dialer. So for our case here, we are using dialer one on a client. The interface is up, as you can see from here. And uh, you can see that the command here, the status is spoofing because this is our virtual interface, which is a dollar one. So that's why it's actually is uh, spoofing. The IP address that we are getting is 192.168.10.254 and the link layer protocol is uh, PPP. This is what we said early on, right? And uh, you can see that all these are up and we also get the IP address. Another command that we can use is called display PPPoE client session summary. Here we have a state of idle. This is where it just initialized. But once it's connected, you can see that using the same command, the state here is up. So here we have all the command for you to verify uh, the PPPoE session. 